Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechFuse Nump and today I'm going to show you a hacking technique called art poisoning or art spoofing and basically this is a man in the middle technique. Now as far as things goes, I'm going to be using Cisco Pass Package Tracer to show you this. This is not made for this. I'm going to have to explain portions of this, but you have to bear with me on this. But as far as this this hacking technique, it is very dangerous. And basically, if someone was to do it to you, you wouldn't know. Now, as far as where this hacking technique can be placed, this could only be taking place on local networks. So, for example, if you're in an airport, Wi-Fi, McDonald's, Wi-Fi, or cities, Wi-Fi, or something like that. As long as it's a local network. I know a city Wi-Fi isn't really local. But um, if, if it's going through the same same Wi-Fi part, um, same router. Sorry about that. I can't think of the word. Uh, then it, it, it's technically local as far as what this example will stand for. So as far as things goes, what is ARP? ARP is used for saying what machine is what. So when you're talking locally, it speeds up the conversation and it's basically allowing a machine to know which machine is which. What's stored on ARP is IP address and MAC. The MAC is the important thing because when you get into local, that's where the MAC comes in. So when you might see something like for your Wi-Fi routers 192.168.1.1 and if you put that in you'll get connected to it well what happens on your machines and is it'll ask out let's see if we can simulate it here and let's, let's ask if we know the art so we don't know the art so let's ping out to 192.168.1.1 I want to make sure real quick that I actually have a uh, I'm .4 and we're going to use this as the hacking machine this should be .10 so we're not worried about it at all so I'm just going to move this over and basically what's going to happen is it goes out, it's, it's spread, it's broadcasted, no one says it is, and, and the Wi-Fi should say it is. We're just going to reset this. So what happens from here, and I've got to reset this real quick, sorry about that. What happens here is basically the, the thing should store the ARP. So let's do that again. And this is will be real time in the simulator, obviously. It's weird. Oh, it's 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 uh, connecting. It's hard about that. It um, I forgot that it, it takes a few seconds for the routers in here to, to connect. But now it should know the art. So that's. So it says that the router's IP address is this and the MAC address is this. Let's make sure we didn't lose that. So the MAC address is that. Let's push this to the side and let's name this 1. Now you give me like, wait a second, you're not supposed to have the same IP on on one network well that's true and this is actually why so we're going to send something out so this is uh, ping what was that for 192.168.1.4 and this is real time so I'm not even worrying about it so it knows the, the this knows the ARP address for the four, I'm not even worried about that. Let's throw that to the side. 
this. Thinks the ARP address has changed. So it spoofed the address. Let's go down to. And if you look at here, the address, this is the MAC address. And it's think that this is the MAC address now. So we can actually change this. And this should work in real world. It should work. I don't know if it will on here. Let's let's actually watch it. So I'm just going to move this over to simulate more of what happens. I mean, it doesn't do anything to connection. Basically, this is simulating a coax or a copper uh, uh, strip. Sorry So we're just going to push it forward. So it goes to the router. It goes back here. goes back up well realistically I'm not really sure I guess I guess I gotta keep it there so we're just gonna go real time What is that for two? ARP. Yeah, yeah, the uh, thing that changed so it still thinks that this is. So, realistically, what happens is the package goes from here, it goes to the wi wireless router, it goes back to the man in the middle. And if their software is configured right, the software will actually poison the ARP in here. So it will think that computer A is is um, now here. And computer A will think that this is the router. So basically what happened is computer A sends information out. Because the router, the router goes to computer let's call this H move that over and then what happens is the computer H sends it out back to the router to the internet then back and when it goes back if the information goes to computer H then computer H sends it back to the router and sends it back to, to computer A so that's uh, a little more complicated than I will like to hat explain it but uh, basically just make it a little bit more easier or a little harder depend on how things will go let's say that there's three people and let's call them A, B and C so you got three people they're in one way class person A they, they could, well all of them they can only see out but um, they can't see in so basically they, it's one way class where they can see outside of the class but they can't see in on any of the other ones and they can't see in on theirs so person A they, uh, they can see out and uh, they say hey and person A says it person C knows that person A is at person well at, at A and when C says hey A knows that C is there so let's say B has something that can actually separate them so when person A or C says something it actually gets diverted to B then diverted back so what happens is A says hey it goes down to B and and uh, C now thinks A is actually here, and C says, "Hey, he goes down to B, and A actually thinks C's here." That's the easiest way I, I, I could explain it. 
Um, and that, that's the thing with art is it's unsecure because it's identifying the Mac is not really supposed to be changed and it's actually illegal to change it in most places for malicious purposes. Obviously, I, I don't think that you'll pretty much have any problems with home passes or whatnot, but you might want to change it with your local laws on my lawyer. But um, as far as things goes, that's why it's so easy to do this. Now, how do you counteract this? This is actually pretty easy how to counteract. Encrypt your data. Basically, any data, any packages going out, you need to encrypt. How do you encrypt it? And what's the easiest method to encrypt? VPNs, and specifically special type of VPNs. VPNs, um, for the most part, what they'll do is they'll encrypt packages, they'll send them out, and um, I'm not going to tell you the entire process, but basically when it goes from A to B, it's encrypted, and when it goes from B to wherever, it's encrypted all the way up to some point. Well, basically when the package goes for, uh, between, let's see if I can get rid of that, probably not. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can get rid of that thing. Yeah, I can. So basically when the data is going through the middleman, even if it is, because there's no way for you to know, because your computer now thinks it is here. So when, when that's happening, if the data is encrypted, coming to and from, they can't tell what's what. A, uh, a looks like a number sign. Uh, I mean, there's no way to really decode some of this stuff unless you're really sitting there for hours and hours. If it's poor encryption, if it's really good encryption, they're never going to be able to break it. And you're looking at 256 AES if you really want to play that at this given time. So, and keep in mind things like the NSA, they could break it because guess who made it? Um, then that's the top encryption, by the way. So, as far as things goes, that's the pretty much the only way to really really do it the um, vpn i advise is private internet but you might find another one that you like more which is fine and if you do then feel free to leave a comment below and and leave a link to whatever you like and explain why you like it so it's not spam so that way whomever views this knows what is good and what's bad but as I said, I prefer private internet access. Um, they, you can select your encryption method, uh, your handshakes, and all your other stuff. And I advise having it as high as possible in that way. It's, it slows it down marginally, but it, it basically makes it impossible for someone to just break in. Now, one thing I want to mention is another reason why you want a VPN. This may change in the future. But at this given time, if in the United States, if you don't have a VPN, uh, ba basically the um, government doesn't need a warrant to look at your internet. If, if um, you have a VPN because it's a paid service, it's, it's a, aside from internet, um, I think they consider it as a public service, and that's why they're able to get into it. But um, if, you, if you have a VPN, Basically, they have to have a warrant to get into it. But keep in mind, I don't think you got to be informed if there's a warrant or if that information is coming across. But anyways, uh, pretty much, again, this is a very easy thing. There's a very easy thing to counter. But anyways, if you've got any questions, then feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, there's a couple of videos out there, and there's free software to test this out on, it, on your own local network. Uh, keep in mind that if you're using your own things, you should be fine, but if you're using someone else's stuff, even in a family, it you could pretty much bet that you're going to run to some legal stuff. But um, as far as, if you get found out, but as far as things goes, I do advise test this out on your own stuff to see how easy it is. Um, one of the things I've heard of is called Kane. I'm not going to leave a link below to it because I don't know if, which link is safe. 
there's several other um, it's called uh, ARP uh, poisoning or ARP spoofing if you do this and then if you do a uh, Mac um, like if you basically mess with the Mac address not not as far as the art poisoning but as far as the mac address beforehand to, so it looks like a different computer then uh basically what happens is is you pretty much won't get found out virtually wise um the, there is methods but it's it's not easy at all to figure out who's doing what um, obviously someone can walk by and see exactly what you're doing and it's kind of strict obvious since the average person wouldn't be knowing what to do or or um, having all this stuff up but anyways uh, this has been Craig Bennett founder and owner tech views and up uh, if you got any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll try to help you out as quickly as possible and again if you have any um, VPNs that you like and um, and you want to share leave them in the comment section a link and an explanation on why you like it so it's not spam and maybe a price so everybody knows if it's worthwhile to even look at at least at the price at the time that you're talking about and um again if you got any suggestions then leave them down below questions leave them below um also please help other people in the, com in the comment section uh, please leave a like please share and please uh Check out the rest of the videos on TechViewsNup and TechViewsNup.com and hope you have a great day.